Hey guys, welcome back to TNA Cigar. Uh, we got a, a little scenery change for you guys. Uh, we're just trying to change it up a little bit. Don't want to get uh, into a groove, so to speak. I don't know. Yeah. And today we're bringing uh, the Tobacco Special. Yeah, Tobacco Special by Drew Estates. And um, actually, the Tobacco Special isn't um, quite the traditional cigar. It's actually uh, confused with uh, Nicaraguan coffee. Mm, true. Yep. So we got a uh, Nicaraguan long filler yeah. and uh, Nicaraguan coffee. So, you know, it's not our usual to do an few cigar, but uh, we've heard nothing but good things from it. So let's see how it, how it works out. And um, just to kind of just tell you, there's actually two different wrappers in the line. Okay. And there's the Dolce wrapper, which is actually a uh, Che grown Connecticut wrapper. And there's also the Negra, which is actually what we're smoking yeah. right here. And it's a uh, Maduro wrapper. Now, uh, one of the things that I like about this cigar, um, it's very. Uh, oh, I like the I like the shade of the wrapper. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to take a look at this real quick, uh, see if we can get this on the camera here. Um, it's a great, great wrapper looking. Uh, the band is nice and elegant. Uh, it's kind of got a shaggy tip on the bottom. Uh, you know, it just, it looks, it looks like it's going to be a great smoke for me. Yeah, it really does. And it smells really, um, it's got that sweet, yeah, like a sweet off the wrapper. You can tell already it's going to be, uh, something different. Something different, yeah. yeah. Well, should we light up? Yeah, let's light up. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I'm actually going to use my sick car lighter. Okay. So, uh, let me get this little guy off here. Cool. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Drew Estates. I know this is the second one in a week we've done. Yeah. Um, mainly because we just got back from the Drew Estates event. Okay, yeah. So the rep actually f um, from Drew Estates recommended. Yeah. He actually recommended the Legal Bavada and this one. And so. this one, yeah. Um, a lot of new stuff coming from Jura States, I, I see. Um, wow. I, it's kind of sweet on the yeah. lips. But not overpowering. I mean, I like it. It's good. So far, it seems like... Uh, oh, you're already getting that espresso Yeah, the coffee. espresso bean in there. You can really taste it. A little creamy, too. Yeah, a little cream. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll see where we go from yeah. here. All right, well, we'll All get right. back to you towards the one-third point and uh, keep on nice. watching welcome back uh, we're about to the first to the first third uh, actually I think we're a little a little bit more because the beginning yeah. of the ash kind of fell off it's kind of yeah. weird well that's one of the points that we both during the break just realized is that it's kind of loosely packed yeah yeah so and that's kind of good because we're getting a lot of smoke from yeah. a big draw a lot of smoke coming out but uh, the ash was a little weak on the front, and uh, overall, what kind of flavors, what kind of aromas, what are you getting? First few puffs I got were instant sweetness. I mean, almost to me, in my opinion, a little bit overpowering. Um, but you get that little espresso, like the, you know, like the stated. You do get that little espresso, a little bit of creaminess to it, and then sweetness, and almost like a mocha. Huh? A mocha. Flavor. Yeah, like a mocha chocolate coffee bean type of thing mm -hmm. so yeah I agree I'm getting the same thing I'm for me the the sweetness kind of faded off the wrapper now it's just coming down to more of a, a raw tobacco flavor um, well, once you get down once that flavor starts to you know kind of this lower you know not pronounce itself as much what do you think about the overall tobacco flavor um overall the the you know, it's it's traditional. Oh, I mean, it's not a traditional cigar, but it's kind of a stock cigar flavor you get from it. Um, nothing really uh, to write home about. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the overall the with that with that tobacco flavor and then the whole mocha coffee thing going for it. You know, it's not bad. Yeah. So. Uh, like I said, big draw, um, lots of smoke. Um, 
Also, when you look at the smoke, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it has like this bluish yeah, tint. Yeah, it's kind of bluey. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, but not out of your mouth. Like, out yeah. of your mouth, it's, it's pure white. Pure white. But off the cigar itself, like, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but it's kind of a blue yeah. hint to it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, again, I mean, once that, that flavoring starts to just like, subside or just not pronounce itself, it, it's not, in my opinion, it's just basic tobacco flavor. You're almost a slight bitterness in the aftertaste. Um, so you have that sweetness, and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're encountering that, Pow, right that there. bitterness right there. Yeah. I like how we did that at the same time. And that wasn't planned, I swear. <laughs> So, well, I mean, that's the first third yeah. for you. So, yeah, if, if you're gonna smoke it or if you've already smoked it, that that sweetness off the wrapper kind of dissipates. But one thing we did notice, yeah. and um, we're actually brewing a cup right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to see what the coffee, if it complements or if it takes away from. Um, I'm expecting it to kind of give a hint of sweet sweetener to the coffee, so I don't know. We're gonna yeah. drink it black. We're gonna drink it black, which, mm, but you know, it's not that bad for for a, a non-coffee non drinker. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So cool. we'll get back to you and uh, keep on watching.